Hey, welcome to Griffith Top Commander. This is Jared, and here we have another. Uh, well, not another. Uh, it's a game. It's a, a a gameplay of um, Shadow Gang Brothers. Now, this is by request. Um, someone asked me to do Shadow Gang Brothers, so here it is. Um, Shadow Bring Shadow Gang Brothers. Um, it, it's a very controlly, grindy type of guy. I mean, he can answer almost anything. Um, so you use a lot of things like, you know, endless cockroaches and um, and guys that you don't want to go in the graveyard, um, things like that. Um, Heartstone is really good with him because it makes everything cost less for his abilities. And today we're up against uh, Sidisi, Blood Tyrant. So th if you like really grindy games that kind of last a long time, you're swinging with a bunch of small dudes, then Shadow Gang Brothers is the deck for you. Um, if you don't, then you may not like it. But it, it's fun. It, it fits my, my personal game style. So um, I keep my hand. You know, I have Heartstone. I have, you know, Mana Ramp. Uh, it was good. I, I didn't have a problem with it. So he plays a land, pass the turn. Um, I play a land. Nothing too exciting in the first couple turns. And they cast Ramp Growth. Um, I get, yeah, I get, uh, my, another land. He gets his commander out, like, turn three, which is kind of scary. And he gets a zombie. See, now, this, this particular guy, he's, he makes tokens, right? So, um, it, it makes Shadow King Brothers worse. Because it's not target removal, they get to choose which creature to sacrifice. So this is this deck is really bad against token based decks, mm. but it still can can pull out a win. All right, so I go I use a uh, Green Sun Zenith to go get I believe I get Steve. It always lags here. Yeah, so I go get Steve so I can. Uh, Plan was to block and then go get a go get a man or a, a land, try to catch up in the mana, mana race. But he's this guy. He's he's ramping hard. He gets his own Steve. Sacks it on his own turn. Never seen it before. So he attacks and just as my plan turns out, I, I block with uh, Steve and go get me a land. Yep, block take two. I'm gonna land. Eventually, I'll get a land. <laughs> All right, see so a land. I, I I draw Gilded Lotus, which is awesome. Give me, lets me catch up on the mana race there. And I throw out uh, the Elder. The Elder. He. Tries to one up me on the mana race again. Yeah. Green bullshit, what this is. So he gets. What do you get back? He got something back. I don't know. It wasn't too important. Swings in. So I'll throw the elder in front of the. Take, trade it with the token. Oh no. Trade with his uh, golden guy. So get my lands. Eventually. Two mountain swamp. And I'll cast a Shadow Game Brothers with Heartstone out. And then I'll get Lightning Greaves. Throw in the brothers. Alright, so he he uh, blows up um, with Melstrom Pearls, pulls up the the boots. And uh, Scavenger Jews is so annoying. Just annoying. So he goes exiles a bunch of stuff. Yeah, exile stuff, exile stuff. 
Sure, sure. So I was expecting a living in. I mean, because he has quite a few creatures in his graveyard. So I was expecting a living in to end me. So I'll, I'll do a token. Take damage. Hit land. Rings of Bright Hearth are amazing. Especially with Shadow Game Brothers. Just amazing. So you end this cockroaches. You get some more mana for my uh, landscape, my Mirad landscape. I probably should have waited because I could have got two extra land with the uh, Rings of Bright, Bright Hearth, but didn't plan ahead. Alright, so swings in with the team. He gets him another zombie, of course. And I'll, uh, I think I eat a token and then I, I didn't want to block the end the endless cockroaches, because I wanted to use them to sack him to make, uh, make him kill his own dudes, or sacrifice. So, I sacrifice, um, the endless cockroaches, so endless cockroaches in the graveyard, while it's in the stack, he exiles it so I don't get it back, um, however I do... I do get to copy the sacrifice um, trigger with Rings of Bright Hearth, which is awesome. So he got rid of all. So now his tokens are gone, and I need to get ahead on the creature game. This is no way I'm gonna win without doing that. So Rings of Bright Hearth also works with Planeswalker triggers. <laughs> Love it. The way Mills try to get on the dude. Doesn't matter. Okay, so um, I kill his commander and then I kill the um, Ewit, Turtle Witness. And I would have killed the. Uh, freaking scavenge Jews, but I, all I had is three swamps, so I couldn't do it. So now all I need is another creature, and I can start catching up on the the creature race and, and, and beat his face in. So he puts, uh, I think, Ewit on top of his library. Oh, no, it was Trigon Predator. That's what it was. It's Trigon Predator is coming in, and you know his plan... He's, he's trying to get as much dudes out as possible to try to outrace my sacrifice thing. And trying a predator, you know, is going to kill the rings of my hearth. That's just going to happen. Oh, well, that's his plan at least. Swing is in for five. I take a lot of damage here. So I'm a nine life. It's getting, things are getting a little scary. And I top pill the freaking amazing top pill. I mean, uh, Beetleback Goblins. Um, <laughs> that's three dudes, and I have all the mana for him, so I can, got more dudes, sacrifice more guys, rings of bright hearth are just what I needed to keep ahead of a, a token based deck. Yep, so makes another guy. But then he loses it to the copy of Shadow Ring Great Pack Effect type of a deal. So I just swing him to see if he's going to block. The first damage it dealt him all game. And a second other dude, make him sack two more dudes, which clears out his field. Booyah. Rings of Bright Hearth. Amazing. Also Hearthstone, I could have done all that without Hearthstone either. It's a very good combination. Alright, so I just swing in, they get in there for five. I didn't want to play my force, so I didn't want to tip him off what I had. It was nothing. So all he has is one card in his hand as well. So right now we're basically both top decking to try to pull out a win. So fortunately he does have a Vulcan Stronghold. 
So um, he grabs Solemn and puts it top of his library. So he knows I'm going to make him sacrifice, dude, so I think he's just trying to get value out of it, which makes sense. So I, I fortunately got the plant token, you know, with my land. Um, come on. Oh. It's wigging out here. Okay. What's that land called? Come here. Oh, well. Doesn't want to do it. Okay. So land gave me a uh, zero one plant token, and I sacked it for to kill it, to kill his solemn. I get in there five, and I did that mostly because I just wanted to keep on getting in there five. Um, I could have waited till he got two creatures out, then I could have, you know, sacked the plant token to get rid of the rings of bright earth. But he would have traded him up for my beetles anyways. I'd rather keep the beetles and and be able to do two more damage. So I get in there for another five. And just ship the turn. Okay. Let's see, Ophniomancer, something like that. Um so while his trigger to get the tokens to mill himself and see if he gets tokens, it was on the stack. I sacrificed my my uh Beetleback Goblin. Um so he sacrificed two creatures. I didn't want to, I wanted to get rid of his commander. But then he, he milled himself three, which in turn gave him a, a zombie, which he was able to sacrifice instead of his commander. So crap. And then his that ability triggers, and then he gets another goblin, or a zombie. So, not looking good. I just needed a... I needed a creature card, and look what I got. Mogwar Marshall. Gives me another guy. He's a, he's, he's a good guy. He's basically two mana for three dudes. Pretty good. So then I sacrifice the, Mar the Mogwar Marshall. Make him sacrifice two things. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Long grindy. Longer grindy, guys. This is... I've I played a handful of games so far with this deck, and that's how every match has been so far. Either it's been long and grindy, and they, they pull it out, or I pull it out. The win, I mean. Not pulling it out. Come on now. And uh, <laughs> that's kind of how, it, that's how the deck runs. So he ewits, and I think he ewits uh, Moldrifter. He has Moldrifter. Draws some cards. And then Crystal Shard. So before the end of the turn, I just go ahead and I just sacrifice one goblin to make him get rid of his board. So I can still get in there for damage. Still want to win, so Shadow King Brothers is going to get there eventually. And then I get Puppeteer Click, which is an amazing pill right now. I've been getting... The last couple of draws were, were just exactly what I needed to win. Oh, spoiler. Um, so I got Puppeteer Click, and I grabbed his Mold Drifter, which got me some more cards in hand. Swung in there. Alright, then I cast a, a Mana of Crypt, um, and I sacrifice the Mana of Crypt to Shadowbring Brothers to make him sacrifice an artifact to get rid of the, the Crystal Shard. Alright, Mold Drifter's Exile, so I like that. So, what he does, he actually tries to put Ewit on top of his library. I don't like that, so I sacrificed um, Puppeteer Click. And then once the persist trigger happens, I went to go grab Ewit, so he can't have it. But I'll get, but I'll get some value out of it as well. So Ewit grabs uh, Mog War Marshal, throws it in my hand, and then his little trigger just kind of did nothing. Over, Oversold Cemetery, so he, he's gonna get some dudes back in his hand. Alright, 
Evolving Wilds is really good with Ring of, Rings of Bright Hearth. So swing with the team. Try to eventually get in there. So I sacrifice a little fetch land, pay two mana, and then get out of the land. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. They get a swamp and then like another mountain or something. Alright, so Meg War Marshall comes out. Gives me a goblin. Exile uh Ewit. Now his turn. Because I'm sitting pretty good. I, I was expecting a board wipe for mass graveyard re recursion and whatnot. I just knew it was coming. Uh, so he tries to duplicate my my particular puppeteer click, but I just used him to sacrifice and uh, so I can still have him in the yard and also get rid of the duplicate. Just fallen angel. Attempts to really cast skull clamp and he attempts to equip it, but I'm like, oh no, that ain't gonna happen. So I'm gonna make sure he has no creatures to equip it to. So I sacrifice my gobby to uh, to kill fallen angel. Then my turn. I pay the echo cost because I, I was expecting something, whether it be a boy life or not. So. Having with Mar Mar War, Mar War Marshal when he dies to go get a uh, have a, at least a goblin in plays is is very good. So swing with the team after I cast Clargissa. and he sees a writing on the wall and he he just gives up. Um, there's at, at, barring a, a board wipe he didn't I don't know he he I'd assume he had something Living Death. I mean, he was literally half of his deck. He was at 51 cards right now. Was left in his deck. Um, so he drew a lot more, milled a lot more than I could even see or hope, hope to get. Um, but with... Once, once uh, Shatter King Brothers, they go off, they go off. I mean, it's it's pretty nutty. Um, you know, playing things like Guess a Goo Collar, Get More Dudes... It, it, it can get pretty nutty. So um, th that was the deck. I'll probably do at least um, three other games with um, Shatter, Game, Shatter Game Brothers. Um, unless you guys want more. Um, let me know if there's another deck you or uh, another command you want me to try out. Uh, want to see my take on it. See some gameplays on it. That's just fine. I and mean, whenever I build decks, I usually used to love to go online and see other people's ideas and, and see their takes on it. And then kind of... Uh, take the good and leave the bad type of a thing and do that for me. I mean, uh, if you guys want to, if you build in a commander deck, um, let us, let me know. We'll, I'll, I'll build it. I'm okay with that, you know, uh, uh, within reason. I mean, as long as the, I got a list of uh, another commanders at the build, so I'll get a couple games in. If, and if you guys like it, I'll get more, more uh, games of the same commander. So whatever you guys want to do, that's what I'm here for, okay? All right, guys, so like, subscribe, all the above.